one of the questions that I haven't answered yet is why does autopilot react the way it does so what I'm going to do in this uh, video is to show you what you see on the dash when I do my trip uh, my test round and what happens and why autopilot does what it does So here we're coming up to that first section that I'm testing, which is on top of the hill, where autopilot suddenly goes to the right. So you see that the car keeps the lanes inside and see what happens at the top of the hill. So it actually loses the lane markers here also, it only has the right lane marker. And you see that the lane is shifting from left to right so basically autopilot is trying to cope with the situation that it's not comfortable with and that is why it tries to react to something that it's not able to recognize yet and that is also why it veers off to the right so again here that second section where we pass the intersection and at the same time we have that divider there let's see what the dashboard shows us once we pass that so it first fails to see the left line and then it fails slightly to see the right line and that's why you had this very small hesitation that the car doesn't know which line to follow here you see the car moving away and even if it's it's already away and still it tracks it off to the side somehow so you see the car moving away on the dash um, so yeah that's kind of weird I'm thinking that is more like a bug but as said before it could also be a safety feature that it tracks the car as long as possible just to make sure that um, you don't hit it now for this left and right section or right and left section I should say um, it's uh, it's also going to be clear what the reason is why autopilot doesn't make that turn at this point so we're coming up to the bend going to stick to 70 And watch the lines and there wasn't even 70 so um, given the fact that the car doesn't allow autopilot to be enabled at that point that means that the car isn't comfortable with that situation taking that into account I think it's amazing what the car already does with that situation I mean yes you have to intervene but it does start a turn uh, the right turn is a little bit more difficult at that point but the left turn so the second one that is actually it, it kind of manages that um, that specific turn so yeah I think it's impressive what autopilot can already do it is also not yet geared to uh, cope with this situation uh, because it's geared towards highway driving like here but it does it does a good job on secondary roads so I can I can nag sometimes about how autopilot is not improving and how it's not dealing with those situations but we have to face the truth that it is geared to highway driving at the moment and everything that is considered secondary roads or even smaller roads uh, you should be happy that it does what it does at that point already and yeah true I hope to see some improvements on that uh, pretty soon but it's going to be a matter of time and we all know with Tesla you have to be very patient 
to uh, get what they promised but eventually they always deliver all right so I hope this clarifies a little bit why I do this test and why I check for improvements on those specific spots uh, unfortunately there aren't really any improvements at the moment uh, but that's okay on highway driving I feel comfortable with autopilot so I don't have any major issues there um, we'll just have to wait and see when the next big improvement actually comes so again thanks for watching see you guys next time bye bye